Good morning, my randoms. Welcome to Vlogmas Day 10. Okay, so today, so far, what have I accomplished? You might ask. I accomplished getting myself a Diet Coke. Actually, so far I accomplished quite a bit. Um, it is a Friday today, so um, I kind of just stumbled out of bed, got the kids ready for school. They did go back today for the first time since um, they had off Wednesday and Thursday. They did go today. Um, Avery is actually home. I shouldn't say they. Um, Avery's home. Jasmine went to school. Avery's going to do some virtual stuff um, just from home. So, um, I like I said, I kind of stumbled out of bed, got Jazz ready, did some laundry, and then um, it was a throw on a hat, throw on a big baggy coat, just not care kind of day. Um, I don't even know if you can tell, but like I barely put some eyeshadow on and just kind of was like, yep, we are good. <clears throat> Little lip gloss out the door. We went, put the hat on the head and just ba-bam, we don't care. I got comfy leggings on and long black cami. Like I'm ready. <clears throat> I'm still not feeling a hundred percent. I don't know when the last time though is that I honestly ever felt a hundred percent. So that might just be a thing of the past. I'm, I'm not even sure anymore. Oh, good Lord. I really got to do these nails. Mm -hmm, yeah. Anyway, um, I took care of a bunch of stuff this morning. I left right away. I went and paid a bill. Um, and then I ran to Walmart. I also stopped at Dollar Tree. Um, I needed things um, like toilet paper, which, hello, I guess maybe it's just because I'm in Wisconsin and it's um, actually, we're in a winter storm warning. We have our first winter storm warning. So winter storm Amelia is supposed to be hitting us um, within the next couple hours. It's supposed to start. It's noon right now. It's about 1230-ish actually. Um, so we have that to look forward to right Right now, we are expecting um, 6 to 12 inches of snow plus, so over a foot of snow possible um, overnight, which is Friday going into Saturday now. So Saturday or tomorrow morning might be interesting. Um, we're going to have lots of snow to play in and snowmen that can be built, I have a feeling. Um, so yes, considering it was payday and all of that, I needed some toilet paper, I needed laundry soap, I needed just, you know, some of those essential things. I found a couple Christmas presents while I was out and about, um, so I got another couple people checked off my list, and I'm debating now, because I actually just pulled into my driveway, I'm back to my house, um, I'm debating on if I want to run to a town in the opposite direction now, and maybe go to Goodwill and Walgreens there to pick up my prescription. Um, but I really don't know if I feel like doing so or not. So that's the conundrum that I'm under right now. Um, if I am going to go anywhere, it should probably be pretty soon because I really don't want to be out when Winter Storm Amelia um, rages her little head. So, um, yeah, I don't know what do I do? And then if I go there, there's also pick and save right there. So I should get groceries and it's going to be crazy in there just like it was in Walmart. Cause like I said, something about living in Wisconsin and people gearing up for snowstorms, they want all the butt wipe in the world and they want all the food in, in their houses stocked. So um, people like me then who just happened to run out of toilet paper and need it right now, I had to get some random brand that I don't ever normally get because, because there's like a TP shortage again, like there was during the beginning of COVID. I, I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. Maybe I need to invest in a bidet. 
No, I don't think I could but do that. Mm -mm, probably not. That's probably not a me thing. Probably not. So, um, other than that, I am just staying nice and warm in the vehicle while I sit here and debate on if I'm running to get groceries and or just to pick up my prescriptions. So, now, um, I have plenty of time before I need to be home, so... Uh, I think I'm going to run a couple more errands just in town. I have a couple more bills to go and drop off and pay. And um, then I guess I'll decide from then if I'm going to go do all that other stuff. Maybe I should wait. Okay, guys. So we are back home. I never ended up going um, to the other town over from us, I just ran around, paid some more bills. Adulting. So fun. Um, and then that was about it. And then I came home. Um, I got way too much stuff that I need to catch up on here as well. I do want to show you a couple things. Uh, some of them actually I can't because I know some of Jasmine's friends watch the vlog. Um, I don't know if she does though. Okay, well, I won't show you Jazzy's stuff just in case. And for any of her friends watching, I know there's probably two for sure. So I'm going to say hi to River and hi to Bonnie. Just throwing that out there. Um, so I'm not going to show my daughter's stuff that I found today at Walmart. But um, I did find this for my aunt. She loves feeding her birdies outside. And she has wanted one of these metal um, bird feeders forever. And then there's like a little spot on each side for um, like the suet. And two suets come with it. I don't know what you can see because of those wonderful lights up there that are glaring. Hi Zozo, please don't knock my camera over. Um, so I did find this and I'm super excited about it because... Um, along with some of the other stuff I found her, this is like perfect. I can cross her off my list. Watch out, kitty kitty. And then, like I said, I did find a couple things for Jasmine, but I'm not going to show them. Um, some butt wipe. All hail. We actually found some. Okay, so the next thing I found were these big, fluffy, really comfy like little booty slippers. They got like some rubber on the bottom. Um, so like the grippies, I should say, and they're just super cute. And the inside is like this awesome <laughs> fluff that I just tasted. So I did find these for Miss Jasmine. Um, I also found this this is just a hoodie, but it is just a black and gray one. This kind of got like a camel print almost. The inside of the hood is gray, and this is what it looks like. Anyway, this had um, this weird tag on it from Walmart, obviously, this all is from. And it was just like a printed one for $12.98. And when I got up there and she scanned it, this rang only $5. So this was indeed clearance. And it's got like this really thick, warm edging on it on the bottom. So I really liked that. Okay, so I don't know why people get so weirded out about showing booby bras. But hello, I'm showing them. Um, This was a steal of a deal. So this is by Secret Treasures and it's a t-shirt full coverage back and side smoothing bra. And you guys, da -da 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 -da. this was $2. Two freaking dollars. Like put them in, hold them up, $2. I mean, it's ugly pink. I don't, I'm not a pink person, but look at these side straps. Like hello it's got a nice wide back and it's got these side smoothing panels so it shows you like in this right here what it looks like before and then after if you wear this bra so it was in a 40 triple d so you guys for two dollars 
I definitely wanted to give this a try, like I said, especially because of these side panels. I'm living for it. I'm all for it. Okay, so the next thing I found were, check these out. These are just combat boots, black combat boots, and these were clearanced, um, I think normally they're like 20 bucks or more, but these were clearanced to $5. Five dollars. Five dollars. Okay, so I got some Gain Fabric Softener. Just the original scent. Um, don't laugh at me, but I've never used Fabric Softener before until recently, and I don't know why. I don't know why I haven't, because it's freaking amazing, and I love I just love it. So, judge all you will, but now I'm addicted, so I had to buy some gain. And then I wanted to try these because, I don't know, maybe I'm weird, but I'm going to give them a go again. These gain flings, I've tried the other, like, generic flings. They just doesn't, they, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like it works as well as the regular soap. So, I decided to buy the actual gain brand, and we're going to try these, um... These little babies, we're going to throw them in and give them a go. Okay, so the next thing I found was this. It's super soft, you guys. And you can see how she's wearing it. It just kind of like folds over you. But check it out. It was $17.97. Um, it was clearance down to $10. And it's a time and true brand. And it just says that it's one size fits all. But it's super soft. And it's really like squishy, like it's thick. So I don't know. Um, I did purchase this as a gift, so I thought for ten dollars that is something. And it's actually kind of cute to just throw that over you. So I thought it was cute. Okay, so the next thing I ended up finding was this. So this is the um connections from Hallmark brand jewelry from Walmart. And I found this little snowflake, and it says you leave a little sparkle everywhere you go. I don't know. Is that focus? I don't know if it's going to pick up the color, but you guys, the blue is, like, really pretty in the middle of this. It's really, really pretty. If I can get the camera to pick it up, I don't know. But that blue kind of reminded me of... <laughs> The blue on my necklace here so I thought these would be really cute to wear together and it was $14.94 like I really need any more jewelry but I bought it for myself bad mom moment okay so that was all my Walmart stuff well that's all the Walmart stuff I can show you guys anyway um at Dollar Tree, I was really surprised because they have a bunch of new products, like this one. This is from Jot, and look at this. It's a tablet stand. Little support table, shall you say. So you can put it up this way, you can set it this way. I don't know, like, I thought this would be really cool. You can even set this up, put your phone on it if you want. You know, lay your phone on it, I don't know, but it's flimsy. I mean, what do you expect for a buck? But it is a new Dollar Tree product, so I wanted to give it a try, so I did grab one of those. I also have a paint project that I want to try, hopefully with you guys on the vlog, so I did pick up um, the Crafter Square stretched canvas and an 8x10. So that's what that is. I already broke it. Just through the back. All right, so I also picked this up. This basket is hella cute. It is the Essentials brand basket, and it almost looks like it's wicker. Like I said, I don't know what you guys can see and what you can't really see. I'm trying here, and it's got this nice black edging. I might take care of all of that crap that's up on the counter over there, um, go through some of it, and maybe put it in this. And inside of it here, for my son, um, whoa, baby, 
I did find these Twisted Punch, and this is Twisted Watermelon Punch. So, he is a watermelon freak. Like, watermelon freak. If it's watermelon, the boy wants it. Like, watermelon Jolly Ranchers are on his Christmas list. Just plain watermelon Jolly Ranchers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he got like a whole pound of those on his birthday, and of course they're gone. But I did get a couple of those. Where in the world am I going to put all this stuff? More Christmas boxes because tis the frickin' season to wrap shit. Okay, so because I went to Dollar Tree, I'm getting warm. I probably should have took this big coat off. Because I went to Dollar Tree before I went to Walmart, Dollar Tree has... Oh, Zoe! No! Stop! She's knocking all my stuff over. Um, Because I went to Dollar Tree before Walmart, I did find these. And this is the Aroma Plus Boost. Oh, Zoe! Whatever your middle name is, kitty cat. Stop it off! Zozo! No! Get off! So, go. What the heck? Oh. Okay. I digress. I did get these. Um, this is the Blissful Breeze, and this is the original. And again, these are fabric softeners, but at the Dollar Tree for a buck, you can't go wrong. So, and then preparing for Winter Storm, Amelia, I need a freaking rug out there in my entryway in front of my door. You can't see, but the outside door out there. So from home collection from D Trizzle, I got a floor mat. And it does indeed just say blessed, blessed. blessed. Okay, I have problems. Don't judge me. Anyway, I picked that up. Oh, it's like I'm building like a Jenga thing over here. <sighs> okay, so I went a little crazy and I bought like five of these. Oh, I bought five of them. But how cute are these, you guys? Look at them. They're so cute. Oh my god. These are just little accessory boxes. But look it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm in love. They are adorable. I have so many different pens and markers and just different things that I'm trying to situate because I'm trying to get all of my journaling stuff figured out so that it's not, you know, just so everywhere, maybe, is the term. Mm hmm Yeah, everywhere. Anyway, I found these, and they're not very deep, okay? But they have these little clickers in the front, and it opens, and... Okay, so the fact that they're not very deep, I figured I could probably separate quite a bit of my different pens and markers, and... Is this already broken? No, it's already closed, ding-dong. Um, so, these might fit all in a row next to each other in that big, like, purple tag bag. That tag bag tag bag. Um, anyways, they're adorable. I bought like four or five of these. I don't even know, <laughs> but we're going to try to make that work. All right. So I love, um, this time of year when they put out all of their different types of candy canes and all of that. So I picked up some cherry sweet tarts to go in the stockings this year. I picked up the spree kind. These are amazing. Amaze balls, I'm telling you. Um, oh my goodness, this is such a mess. I picked up the now and laters. I think they're upside down, and they are in apple, which my husband is like obsessed with apple flavor. So I don't know. I think he might like those. And and then the other one I grabbed were these because these are the Kool-Aid candy canes in tropical punch, cherry, and grape. So, yeah, got a bunch of stocking stuffer candy canes. You guys, I have so much stuff all over. Why do I do this? Why do I make such messes? What the heck? Okay, so I also got a Crafter Square paintbrush set. There's two in there, so I figured I could use these with my 
canvas, wherever that's piled. And if you guys watch the vlog, then, well, you know that Miss Mia, who I babysat for, loves these things, and we decided we were going to collect these now. So I did find two more of these little unicorn girls, so I got these to put away for Miss Mia because... She just gets so excited over those things, and it just makes me remember when Jasmine was little and all of the things we used to do. I don't know. So fun. Um, I did find this. This is a squash ball, and they're in metallic, so it's this really cool metallic blue. Can you see that? Can you see it? Um, I'm going to play with that. Not going to lie. Um, <laughs> and then I did find these, which I thought would make really cute um, stocking stuffers and or just cute little gifts to throw in a basket or something if you're making gift baskets for anyone. So these are, um, I'll read them to you. This one is the Aromatherapy Incense Gift Set. So you get 10 incense sticks in here and one holder. And this is in Energy Wind. So this one's like this really pretty purple. And like I said, you get the sticks in there and the burner. So that one's in purple and it's called Energy Wind. I can kind of show you the back too because that's what they look like. And then they give you 10 of the sticks as well. So this one is um, Dragon's Blood, which I thought was just super cool. I love the color of this one. It's like this really, really magenta timber. And then I got the one in teal, which is Vitality, and it's Eucalyptus and Time. That's what the back of that one looks like. So, um, whoo, this bag be, oh yeah, aromatherapeutic. Mm -hmm, and then some. So the other one I got were these Solar Plexus Lemongrass, and this is 40 pieces this one doesn't have the, I don't know, certain incense because of my asthma, I cannot burn them. But you guys, this one has like a really fresh citrusy lemon scent to it. So then because I'm a Bob's Burger girl, Jasmine absolutely loves french fries. I mean, that just kind of goes hand in hand. I did find this. So this is a little burger charm. I'm probably not going to put it on the back of one of my phone cases, but it is adorable. And then the one I got for Jasmine is a little red one with the Frenchie fries on it, which I thought was totes, totes adorb. And then I got some acrylic paints. So I got a blue. I got a black. I got a white. And I got a green. That's a really pretty green. Um, so I just have this idea. I was watching this guy on YouTube and he like makes these really cool paintings by like glopping on glops of paint and just, yeah. So that's, that's going on in my noggin. Like now I'm all wanting to be artfully, artistically, creatively, paintively awesome. And it probably won't turn out at all. So I probably shouldn't even do that on camera, but we probably will because it'll be fun to laugh at the mess that I make. Um, I don't know when I'll do that, but I did get supplies to try it. So that'll be coming up one of these, one of these days. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my little haul. I feel like you guys are probably wondering, is that all Vlogmas is going to be is a bunch of hauls? Um, I don't know. I don't know if you want me to be honest. I have no freaking clue. I don't plan out Vlogmas days. Like, I've been watching so many people's vlogs, Vlogmases, and, well, they're like actual, real quit your daytime job YouTubers. Like, they totally just make their income off of YouTube. Um, and they have, like, the coolest vlogs, and it just makes me be like, why are you vlogging? I know I'm not them, and I know it's not good to compare yourself to other people, but I watch theirs, and I'm so entertained. But I did remember reading a comment from one of you that said, you know what, you might not think it's entertaining. You might not think you're putting out content or something along those lines. But you kind of just made me stop and think because you said, you know what, it's somebody else's life, and you're getting a glimpse into it. So even though it might not be entertaining to you, it's fun for other people to watch. So thank you for that. Thank you. 
for that. Thank you to all of you guys out there that comment on the vlogs. You know I'm going to say it. It just warms my heart. It like makes me so happy to read those. I am so hoping that soon I'm going to be able to start replying to everybody again. And uh, yeah, because I, I miss being able to like comment back to your comments. But with the ancient slug bug of a computer that I'm working with here. It's like not even a computer. It's a Chromebook. Um, yeah. I'm kind of at my wit's end with it. I don't know what I was thinking trying to do vlogmas on it because it's stressing me the H-E double hockey sticks out. It's stretching me out, man. So, okay. Um, anyway, I digress. I'm going to put all of my junk away um, and I just wanted to make sure to tell all of you guys thank you so much for your support and your love no matter what I do on these vlogs and I love you all. All right, you guys, so I'm not sure what else is going on tonight because it is Friday, so I might be ending this here, um, but I wanted to at least show you some stuff and hang out with you for a while today, so I'm sorry if this vlog was kind of boring, but you know what? It is what it is. All right, you guys, I love you. Stay random. I'll see you tomorrow. Time or remember tonight I found something here with you Running by the roadside Wait up for me I'd go anywhere that you do Put it all out in the open No, we don't have to control it Put it all out in the open If it's only for a moment It's a lifetime of emotion Put it all out in the open Show it.